Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 2 Thoughts. This episode is called Orientation Part 2. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything that came out after this episode first premiered. The show is rated TV-14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, I quite like that Simmons, you know, they've already, you know, they can't phone home. So it's not ET Rule 1. It's IT rule one. Turn it off and on again. Let's see. And yeah, I like when they're when they're reunited and, and both sides already know and they're trying to tell the other. And <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm a biologist, but I can you know invent time travel. Just give me a minute. And yeah, we're told, you know, the only way not to die is to work hard and blend in and or blend in that's capitalism in a nutshell so yeah we've moved from I'm, I'm not seeing quite as much Trump criticism in this these two episodes of this season so far as there was in season four but it, it looks like now it's more this yeah they're taking capitalism to its logical extreme and criticizing that <laughs> I it is kind of funny how like Colson is trying to prove to Tess that they're you know from a different time so he's like uh, sh shiny new penny and she just she notices oh the, you know no metric no scar you really must be from you know Let's see. <laughs> this is like hurting rats I do believe that the cuz cuz Right now, the term I'm almost certain is hurting cats, not rats. But yeah, you know, given enough time, and this is maybe also a world where cats are not commonplace, but rats are. So, yeah. And I 100%, I don't, hurting cats is already difficult enough. Hurting rats is, yeah. And I, I appreciate that they, you know, they refer to death as vacancy, you know, because it means, you know, under capitalism, when a worker dies, that means some other lucky worker can take over their place. <laughs> you, you know, just so, so fortunate. And let's see. You know, it reminds me somewhat of how in, in Blade Runner they don't say, you know, kill the the replicants. They say retire them. <clears throat> it's nice to be nice. And let's see. Yeah, I appreciate, you know, no one's quite sure what happened to Earth. Everyone has a different story. And and yeah, we're told that the fact that they killed these two uh, Kree, you know, there's going to be retaliation. They're going to kill a bunch of humans in response. And yeah, you know, that sort of thing has happened in, in real life. You know, the, the first thing that pops into my head personally is during World War II where the Nazis in response to, you know, if, if a, I can't believe I'm blanking on the word, of, if a resistance uh, attack led to the, the death deaths of, of Nazis, the Nazis would round up a bunch of civilians and, and kill them, and, and they would kill more than they had lost. Because it wasn't about evening things out, it was about scaring the opposition out of, you know, into inaction. It's the end of the world. You don't look fine. And let's see. Yeah, and they mentioned, you know, oh, it's it's the lighthouse. Okay. If I see the Green Goblin, Batman, and weird, creepy crap, I am turning this episode off. I haven't actually watched that movie. I would really love to, though. It, it seems very, very interesting yeah and I appreciate they, they talk about you know Virgil was one of the only people left who believed because they they tried to kill the belief 
you know, by, yeah, to, to control the opposition, to get rid of the, yeah, you know, very clever. And again, something, something that happens under capitalism, something that's happened under various other, you know, controlling systems. And uh, what did I write? Oh yeah, the you know it's not right. It's not, or uh, yeah, yeah, something else. You know, it's not right, but it is true. And yeah, you know they they're trying to figure out what it was that Virgil wanted. We you know we still don't know for sure. He said he was going to show them something. I'm not sure we've seen what that is yet, but yeah, you know, Virgil was the one who knew what the plan was for them. Tess and Deke don't know. <laughs> it is kind of funny that, honestly, that, that might be the single saddest thing about what humanity looks like in, in these couple of episodes so far. They think that Sharknado was like a documentary. <laughs> Yikes. And honestly, it is one of those things, yeah, like, we know that the Sharknado movies are just pure fiction, but if you don't have enough context, you're not necessarily gonna know. Like, you might watch one of those and think, wow, they, should, you know, these are not very convincing effects. But if you don't know that it didn't happen, like, there's movies about World War II that have bad effects, you know? Let's see. And... Yeah, and, and you know, uh, Tess is, is confronted, and, you know, she points out, well, yeah, you know, my, my pilot died. Oh, okay. Well, you, you, you pay double next time, you know? Like, he... It's not that he doesn't believe her. He 100%... Oh, okay, yeah, sure. You know the the but and and again that's that's capitalism you know if you, you you can't pay well we're gonna punish you then instead you know like what what do you want you you literally can't that if the person literally can't pay you know let's see and I I appreciate the the bit where they're just mourning Virgil and you know Tess is like I I thought that what he believe was completely absurd. I, I didn't know, you know, and yeah, Colson trying to be reassuring, you know, I'm I'm sure he knew you cared. Because that is a very natural way to react when someone close to you dies. After you move seats, yeah, the the you know, you, you start to think about how like did they th did they think I I you know that I that I hated them. Did they think you know? Let's see. And I like the reference to North Korea. That was let's see. Although honestly, like they could easily have made that same reference about Trump. You know, he he doesn't have people executed for for insulting him, but. I really, honestly, it seems like he would like to be able to. Let's see. You know, there's that thing about, like, um, I don't know if it still counts as recently, but not terribly long ago. Like, his, his lawyers were making the case, even though this is not what he's on trial for. He's on trial for just about everything, just about every crime in the known multiverse, except for murdering his political opponents. And that's the thing that he had them say, you know, I mean, there's all this other stuff, but let's be honest, he should probably, he should be allowed to have his political opponents executed. That's just, you know, like, imagine having all these lawsuits, and that's where your head's at. That's what you're thinking about, you're fantasizing about. Like, ah, oh, if only I could take out these people who are criticizing me. Like, you know, it's a situation where you should maybe self-reflect. You should maybe think, wow, did I really do all these things wrong? You know, have uh, have I been doing something illegal for all this time? Have I been, 
engaging in such unethical activity. But no, he's just like, well, I mean, I just want you all to know, you know, he's telling every potential voter, if you elect me again, I think I should be allowed to, to just, you know, send hit squads at my opponents. Let's see, and and yeah, the, the you know the some of the Cree show up, and I appreciate we get the detail about you know oh this is like this this slave is like prized higher than you know most humans. So when he gets injured, like everyone knows, oh this is bad, you know, and and yeah, there's a fight over over food which is just dumped like you know I haven't watched Fury Road. I know I I would like to. That really reminded me of, I've seen clips of where the, the water is, is dumped, you know, just, and, and there's, again, this thing, of, you know, this is where you express your gratitude, you know. Aren't we merciful? Look at all the food we're throwing directly on the floor and forcing you to fight over. You know, hot tip, if you don't want people fighting over food, you make sure there's enough for all of them. And, like, it doesn't seem like this is a world that just has too little food. The, the Kree seem to be doing just fine. And, let's see. You know, it's, it's, again, it's a measure of control. You're less likely for people to start a revolution if they think that it's safer to, you know, if every so often you give them just enough that they think that's, you know, yeah, the safer way. And let's see. And we have the... Yeah, you know, during the, the food fight, yeah, you know, when one person accidentally stabs the, the, the slave, and it's completely obvious, like, everyone there can tell he didn't mean to do it. Like, he wasn't, you know, it, like, you could argue that it was, like, maybe manslaughter, but, you know, he's he's fighting over food, you know. Like, basically, the, the fear of starving to death kicks in. Yeah, you know, but there's no, like, he doesn't even try. He doesn't even say, I, I think we can all agree that was clearly not on purpose. No, he just, he realized it and he tries to run. And you can even see on it, on his face, like, he doesn't think he's going to make it. But he just, he can't help himself. He has to try. And, yeah, very nicely done. I think, is it the, uh, S Sinara maybe? The, the I, I didn't catch the character name. Fantastic performance. Like, it takes a lot to... She she says almost nothing in the episode, but she conveys so much and has such presence. And just the thing of, you know, she's always, like, rolling these two balls in her hand. And then every so often she uses these, you know, telekinesis powers or something to use them as, as weapons. And that's the thing, like, if you throw metal balls hard enough, yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. And, yeah, uh, Gemma, you know, tries to, tries to act a doctor, nurse the, you know, patient, patient back to health. And, let's see. Um, yeah, and she's taken, that was, yeah, really, really nasty, gnarly, love it when the, the, their, you know, core rising wound. And, and good detail that, like, no one dares help because everyone is scared of what will happen, you know. The, as, there's, there's a line slightly later in the episode where they talk about, you know, they, these people have all had their humanity stripped from them. And, Let's see. Yeah, and she's she's asked to take a bath, but not given privacy. Again, this you know control. Like, what's she gonna do? What are what are you worried about? It's water. You know, it's not like you're handing her a gun or something. It's yeah. Let's 
see. And and yeah, you have the the line, you know, a a saved life, a, or a life saved is a life. Crap, I forget the exact wording, but yeah, something like that, you know. And yeah, and and <laughs> Deke, the thing he keeps talking about protecting is a framework opium den. And yeah, honestly the the idea of of it makes a, it makes perfect sense. Of course people would want escapism in a world like that. And and I appreciate, you know, Simmons you know, she's assessed the situation and she realizes this is, you know, this is the best. You know, he asks why and she says, I just, you know, as much as it pains her, like you can tell, it's like pulling tooth. She can barely get the words out. I did it because I thought it would make you happy or make you the happiest or something like that. And he says, what a, what a perfect answer to every question. And. Yeah, um, you know, realizes she doesn't have a metric, and she's like, I removed it, no scarring, and, and just, you know, yeah, that was <clears throat> very, very tense. And, and, yeah, <laughs> how, how sure are you that that's a steam pipe? 50-50, you know, steam pipe, raw sewage, either way it'll attract attention. You should see your go face in slow motion. I was just showing off. If you've got it, flaunt it. And let's see. yeah, and and they're going to check everyone's metrics. And love seeing Prude Taylor Vince in in something uh, again. Always, you know, yeah, such. Just unreal talent. And yeah, you know, he says you can work for me, but it won't be fun. And let's see the the Yeah, and also the detail, you know, a what was it? A a Cree uh, uh, data pad is not worth installing three metrics. But someone who can steal a Cree data pad is, you know, and and yeah, you know, they they gotta go along with it. What are they gonna do? You know, it's, and yeah, you know, we have the thing about the yeah yeah. Deke says you know, prison would be nice, and. Uh, let's see. Right. I, yeah. So after the the metrics are are stuck in the the wrists, you know, the grill, you know, yeah, presses a button, and they're like, a, yeah, the the magnets inside the metrics, you know, stick to the the wall. Very very Erewhon. Love it. And, or I guess, Thai evil. And, yeah, this is the, you know, don't you wish you had an axe now? Don't joke about something like that too soon. Still too soon. And, yeah, um, Cassius, you know, Gemma has been able to, to, To he keep her head above water with him, you know, so so far. But when he sees that his slave, you know, first there's the 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 scar from the uh, from the from the stab wound. You know, she's like, I it'll, it'll it'll heal, and he's like, I guess the tunic will cover. But there's a, a cut on his face, and you also just see the guys like. Mm -hmm. 
oh crap, you know, no. And and yeah, you know, he says, you know, they they, this is about perfection, you know, like he has his people torturing and killing innocents for no reason. That's okay, but one of his slaves has a slight cut on his face. Uh, what are you gonna do? Gotta get rid of him. Just you know. And so, so you know, it's clearly not about what's ethically right. It's just, you know, he doesn't care about these human beings. And then we, you know, that she's given this thing that that makes her deaf, except for when he speaks directly to her. Again, a, you know, an element of control. You know, this reminds me somewhat of, you know, there have been, you know, for for a long time, the, the um, actually, yeah, I come to think of it, there is a, there was actually a video just earlier today, um, yeah, this, this cat black video, I'm going to put that in the, in the description box where she talks about the color purple you know th yeah the the um, slaves were not allowed to to learn how to read or write because that would enable them to to you know it would make it easier for them to start resisting you know once you learn ideas that the powerful don't like you having you can start pursuing those ideas. And this is also why fascism is so keen on, you know, yeah, censoring ideas that go against what the, the fascists like and what they have an easier time of controlling. That's why you see them pushing machismo and trying to suppress LGBTQ plus identity. Because if you've got you know, if, if you have enough men thinking that the only way for a man to have any worth is for him to be hyper-masculine, as long as you're the one defining hyper-masculinity, yeah, masculinity, you've got complete control. You know, the moment that someone goes in a direction that you don't like, all you have to do is say, oh, that's not masculine. And and you've got, you know, so, so yeah, which, yeah. Anyway, this was an excellent, you know, this was the second part of the of this season's opener and just, yeah, phenomenal. Really, you know, I, I, I'm loving this new status quo, you know, so several of our, our team are, are now working for Grill. You've got Gemma as a slave for Cassius. You know, and we're trying to figure out what is what it is that 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 Virgil wanted them to do. How how can they fix this? And yeah, you know, very cool setting. This you know, yeah, close to Earth, and Earth has been almost entirely destroyed. Right, that was also really cool. Um, Deke says that. It was Daisy using her quake powers, which, like, I don't want to believe that, but it's possible. Like, if they, if he had said it was Coulson using Lola, I'd be like, what? But no, this, 100%, yeah, if she used her powers to an intense enough degree, hypothetically, this is absolutely something she would be capable of doing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, loving this mi this much like Cree stuff. Like, there's been Cree on the show before, but never this much in such a short amount of time. And and you know, honestly, the Cree kind of have been done dirty in the MCU because they are legitimately interesting, but they keep showing up just only fairly briefly or in a in a somewhat limited. You know, there is some really great stuff. Obviously, you know. The first Guardians of the Galaxy with with Ronan. I know some people find him boring. I really love him as a villain. 
you know, but overall, like, at the end of the day, that's just, you know, he's, there's this one Cree, and then, you know, like, a lot of the people he has working for him don't appear to be Cree. His army is not Cree, for example, you know, so, yeah. Um, so, some IMDb trivia. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these two episodes are the first where Ian DeCastecker has not appeared. As a result, Elizabeth Henstrich is the only person to appear in every episode of the show. And... Let's see... I think that is... Yeah, so... In... Yes, uh, tomorrow I will do the very next episode. Really, really stoked. Really loving the season so far. And... Let's see. Right, I also... I th It was pretty funny when Deke and Daisy are, like, having a shouting match. And I think it's Deke who realizes, we are mixing our metaphors! <laughs> Just... You don't want to make waves because there, there's a fire, and and yeah, I, I don't even remember all of them, but just yeah, a lot of really really fun, yeah. Let's see. I think that is every thing for this episode. So yes, um. I, I like, you know, Tess talking about, I just can't picture somewhere so open. How did you make so much air? And, let's see. Yeah, and, and the, you know, Sharknado. Okay, hold up. The whole Sharknado thing, that's just entertainment. Who would put a shark in a tornado? They wouldn't. It's fiction. A movie. <laughs> 